like, share, subscribe, HCB2 World. Yo, 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 what is going on guys? Listen, you already know how this goes. New week, new chapter, My Hero Academia. And this week we got chapter 126 and we definitely got some interesting viewpoints to say the least. Now, obviously we picked up where we left off last week and that was with All Might sitting down with Tagada and Miraria to kind of discuss something. Now, last week they didn't give it to us, but this week they made sure it's, that's how we started off. And let me tell you, it was definitely interesting. Um, one thing we found out that really kind of caught me off guard was that All Might kind of had an awkwardness with his old sidekick. We find out later that that was because his old sidekick had warned him about something that All Might was becoming and you know, it actually ended up coming true so All Might was a little embarrassed to face that music so you know, he kind of been avoiding his sidekick. Now, the reason that he wanted Tagata and Midoriya was because he actually wanted Tagata to introduce him to his former sidekick, you know. Now, we find out this week that the sidekick's name is actually Sir Night Eye. Now last week Tagata kept referring to him as Sir but we really didn't get the rest of that. So now we find out his sidekick's name is actually Sir Night Eye, and this dude is actually kind of a weird dude, you know? Um, one thing I loved about this chapter is that you kind of get in the feeling that Tagata is a really, really good dude. And not only that, man, I'm actually kind of liking him myself, you know? He reminds me of All Might so much, it's sickening. Even though they, the two were sitting down, you know, All Might was looking at the two, and he kept thinking to himself, man, this is the guy who was almost my successor had I not picked Midoriya. And you gotta wonder, what was it that Midoriya had that Tagata didn't, you know? Because Tagata seems to be like the total package, honestly. He's, he's strong, he's smart, he has that All Might smile. But actually, let me take back the smart part because we actually found out that his grades were like pretty god awful. But for the most part, you know, he uses his brain. We learned that last week when he fought the Class 1A and basically destroyed him in like six seconds, you know? So we found out that he's at least clever when it comes to fighting. But you gotta wonder, why didn't All Might pick him as his successor? So, while we're on the subject of Tagata, Midoriya kind of posed the question, why are you being so good to me? Now, Tagata responds by saying, basically, that he acknowledges Midoriya's efforts, you know? Because he sees Midoriya as, he's working hard to get to where he wants to be. Even if his goal doesn't really seem to be set, you know, even if he seems to have a bunch of goals, he's working hard to at least get to some kind of starting point. So Tagata kind of acknowledges that, and I thought that was really cool, you know, and the more that we get to spend with this guy, the more you kind of really like him. Now, on the subject of Night Eye, you gotta wonder, why does he hold humor in such high regards? Even before they enter the office, you know, Tagata kind of warns me to read He says, hey man, I know he seems pretty serious, but actually that's just a show he puts on for the media. Behind closed doors, he's actually a guy who likes to have fun, and it's extremely important that you at least make this man laugh once before your time talking with him is over, you know? And you kind of wonder, man, he does seem really serious, but then you get into his office and there's like a tickle chamber, and he's got his sidekick <laughs> hooked up and he's just tickling her. You're like, who is this guy? Is he a serious guy? Is he a guy that's really laid back and just likes to laugh? You know, who, who is he? Who is he? Now, unfortunately, our boy Midoriya made the mistake of hitting him with the All Might face, but honestly speaking, man, I thought that shit was hilarious, dude. Oh, God, man. When I saw that on my face, I thought it was so freaking hilarious. But apparently, Night Eye, uh, not so much. So hopefully things work out for our boy Midoriya. Now, in terms of next chapter, even though it made it seem like the internship might be over before it begins, I think that Night Eye is going to find some humor in it. I think once he realizes that him and Midoriya actually have a lot in common, especially with Night Eye being someone who rewatches the tapes. Because if you remember, Midoriya used to be obsessed with those tapes to the point where he could recite them, you know just by watching them over and over again. He can recite them step by step by step. So they both seem to be huge All Might fans. Hopefully that's something they can bond over and hopefully this internship is not over. Because trust me, if there's anybody that he would want to learn from, if he can't learn from All Might himself, then the sidekick is definitely a great number two, you know? So hopefully this goes through. Other than that guys, this is going to do it for my review. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and let me know your thoughts on this uh, on this chapter because I really thought it was pretty good. I think that things are going to go well for me to read next time, even if the the kind of closing remarks made it seem like it wasn't. I think things are going to go well, and we're going to get the start of his internship, and maybe even a, a build to a relationship between him and Mario. So hopefully that's what pans out. But as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button because it always lets me know that I am at least heading in the right direction and that you guys are appreciating what I'm doing. If you didn't enjoy the review and feel like you have to hit the dislike button, I understand. I just appreciate you keeping it honest, all right? As always, guys, if you're new, go ahead and smash the subscribe button because there's definitely a lot of cool things on here and I'm covering more and more as my channel grows. So just stick with your boy. Stick with your boy, all right? Now, as always, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm your boy. He goes come back to peace.